Hey guys, what's going on? This is always back with another video of Java Essential Training Series. So in the previous video, I've explained to you guys while loop. So I have that same code, but I made that in the comments, so it's been grayed out. So let's look at the do while loop uh, first. Okay, so in Java, do while is an iteration statement again, like for loop and while loop. It's also called a loop control system. Do while statement is exit controlled loop because condition is checked at last moment so irrespectively of the condition control enters into the do while loop after the completion of the body execution condition is checked whether true or false if condition is false then it will jump out of the loop otherwise it will execute the code so let me give you an example okay so i give you a syntax for do while loop so just type do okay and then you need to add curly braces okay and in the curly braces let's say i will type let's define an int um just a variable first so int int let's say y yeah x is equal to one okay all right so in the do i'm going to say that print out x value okay and then I'm going to check while it's the, the condition. So I'm going to say while, okay, and then the condition is going to be, let's say, x less than zero. Okay, sorry, zero. All right, so, all right, so we got our loop done, and then in the loop, you need to add um, semicolon at the end, right? So let's run the program now. I want to show you the difference between while and do while loop. So as you can see that we got the result of one, okay? But the same loop at the top we have a while loop, okay? So let's look at the result for while loop as well. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Let's um, create a separator here. So I'm just going to say blah, 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 dash, okay? And then this is going to be a separator. All right, so we have the do while loop here and then same condition we have in a while loop so the count variable is has a one value so if it's less than zero then print out this okay all right so let's run the program all right as you can see that that there's nothing has been executed in a while loop the reason why is because the condition is checked first so the condition is if count is less than zero which is not because it's one, so it is not going to execute anything, all right? But in the same thing, in do while loop, x is equal to one, and I'm going to say do system out print x value if it is less than zero. Well, because this compiler comes up here first, it actually prints out the value of one and then check the condition. So even the condition is false, it is still going to print out x value. So that's the difference between while loop and do while loop. While loop checks the condition first and do while loop checks the condition at last. All right. So that was a quick tutorial about do while loop. Next video is going to be about for loop, right? So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.